Here we are with uh, Taste 5 Catering. My name is Executive Chef Richard Bailey. Our locations are in Vail and Denver, Colorado. What we're going to do now is a little uh, sauteed Alaskan halibut with a uh, sweet pea and basil sauce. Um, in our sauce we have a little bit of uh, sweet peas, a little onion, a little garlic and fresh basil and a little bit of chicken stock. You could use a vegetable stock if you would like to, or even pipe stock. So what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to basically um, boil everything. Okay. So we're going to add a couple of uh, cloves of garlic, a little bit of a uh, chopped onion, and we're going to puree all this stuff up so it doesn't really matter if it's um, diced up nicely or not. So we just have our onion and onion and garlic in here and our chicken stock. We're going to let this boil for probably about um, three or four minutes to kind of uh, get the flavors from the onion and the garlic uh, out. Okay, so now that our uh, chicken stock is boiling, we're going to go ahead and add our uh, fresh peas to it. You basically want to uh, just take and bring it up to um, however high your stock is itself with the uh, sweet peas. So we're gonna bring that to a boil. As soon as this comes to a boil, we're gonna add all of this basil to it. Again, this dish has no butter, no oil, no nothing in here. It's very healthy for you. Just the sweet peas, a little bit of garlic, onion, and fresh basil, along with chicken stock or whatever kind of stock you would like to use. So we're just gonna wait for this to boil here. I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, kosher salt and white pepper so we don't have specks in this. So now that our uh, sweet pea coolie is boiling, we're going to go ahead and add our uh, fresh basil to it. Push that down. And as soon as this comes back up to a boil, we're going to be able to uh, go ahead and blend this up. If you would like to add a little bit of fresh butter to this, you can. If you are um, doing the paleo diet, you could add a little bit of um, fresh coconut butter to it um, if you are looking for that kind of a flavor. But it's just perfect the way it is right now without any kind of uh, butters or oils though. Okay, so once this is boiled, we can go ahead and uh, just go ahead and take and <clears throat> put this pot into the uh, mixer, the blender. Now, since we're working with hot liquid, we don't want to just go ahead and uh, turn, turn the blender on or else it'll poof all over the place. So we want to make sure that our blender is turned down really low first. And then we'll gradually make it higher. You can keep this sauce inside the refrigerator for about four, four or five days, I would say, covered in your refrigerator the whole time. And then when you go to uh, use it, just kind of heat it up again and uh, plate it the way we're going to plate it up here pretty soon. For our halibut dish, we're going to uh, take our uh, little tomatoes here and just uh, trim the top off. And then we're going to put a little bit of uh, olive oil, salt, pepper on top and then roast them off. And I'm leaving these whole for uh, part of my presentation that I'm going to do here. So we're just going to kind of pull it off to the side. And then we'll take our pan. Hit a little with a little extra virgin olive oil, a little kosher salt, and white pepper. We're also going to do a little bit of fresh ground black pepper, and then pop that into the oven, 350, for about 10, 10 minutes.
Then we have our uh, fresh cauliflower. We're just going to uh, take and chop this up, just slice it. Doesn't have to look anything special. And then uh, pop that into a bowl. We're going to hit it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil again. Kosher salt. White pepper. And we're going to hit it with a little bit of uh, fresh ground black pepper also. Toss that. And then uh, throw that, put that on a baking sheet tray also and pop it in your uh, preheated oven at 350 for about 10 to 15 minutes until it starts getting a golden brown <clears throat> all the way around it. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, clean our halibut um, for our sautéed halibut dish here with the uh, sweet pea coulis. Again, we're going to just take a little piece at the end so there's something to hold on to as we're taking off the skin. Okay. And then there's a little, uh, there's a little line over here, a little fat line that we're going to take off. portion this out. I'm looking for a nice square piece to be able to portion that. There we go. I'm going to go a little uh, kosher salt, both sides, a bit of white pepper, and we're heating up our uh, saute pan right here. It's pretty hot. I'm going to add a little bit of oil to it. And presentation side down. So it gets a nice sear on this. Okay, so once we have our sauce pureed, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and put a little bit right down. I'm gonna take a little spoon. I just move it around a little and then we'll take our uh, tomatoes that we roasted off I'm just going to put those back on like they were natural place that back on a little garnish we're going to take our seared halibut, place that down, and then our oven roasted uh, cauliflower, kind of around the outside. Very nice, light, summery dish. And that's our uh, sautéed halibut with uh, roasted cauliflower and roasted tomatoes with the sweet pea and basil coulis.